Jazakumullah khair to Sheikh Nuru and Brother Qasim, Imam Qasim. Uh, Jazakumullah to you both. And may I also thank you both for your commitment of time this evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And after um, this award to the most impactful Imam, we now move on to category five. Category five is the award for the best women's service. And please allow me to introduce and invite online uh, Sister Sheikha Noshin Gul. She has a tripartite role. She is an academic, she is a teacher, and she is also a community leader. She has spent several years um, studying Arabic uh, at the Abu Nur Institute in Damascus alongside the Jaweed intonation of the Holy Quran, alongside um, uh, Islamic theology, uh, jurisprudence, Hadith studies, uh, legal theory, Hadith uh, principles, with some of notable scholars of, of Syria. She was the head of the primary school education, primary Islamic school, sorry, education at a madrasa in Dewsbury in Yorkshire, and is currently serving on the board of guidance hub in Manchester and is a lead on many other initiatives and activities. Uh, Sister Sheikha Noshin Gul, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to the fourth annual British Beacon Moscow Awards 2021. We look forward to listening to your thoughts on this award of best women's service. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Thank you so much for your kind words. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow me to be worthy of such words. Alhamdulillah, all praise and goodness is from Him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Um, Alhamdulillah, it's really a privilege to be on the other side um, this time round. Alhamdulillah, you know, subhanAllah, being a very small institute here in North Manchester, we have really found inspiration and been motivated. Motion detected at the front door. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. My kids have just come back. I sent them out for a long drive with my husband and, you know, Alhamdulillah, I think he got the timings wrong. But Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so we've really been motivated and been inspired by Beacon Awards for the past two years, Alhamdulillah. And it's been a great honour and privilege to be part of you know, subhanAllah, this, this great initiative. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Faith Associates, bless the British Beacon Awards. And this is, this is subhanAllah, a really beautiful category which celebrates the inclusivity of our masajid when it comes to providing services for women. Alhamdulillah, women have always been at the forefront of the development of our Islamic societies. And, and right in the beginning, Brother Shokat spoke about the vision and he spoke about the Medina model. And you know, SubhanAllah, it made me think that we need to look no further than the seerah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to see the impact that women had within, uh, with regards to the development of that society, whether it was economical, we need to look no further than say the Khadija, radiallahu anha, you know, subhanAllah, her economical, her spiritual contribution to, to the development of that society was, was instrumental. And then subhanAllah, when it comes to the educational impact, we need to look no further than our mother, Sayyidah Aisha, radiallahu anha. And throughout history, we take inspiration from such great women, whether it be spiritual in inspiration from the great Gnostic say the uh, Rabi al Adawiyah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate her maqam and sanctify her secrets. So, whether it be, you know, subhanAllah, the great Fatima al Fihri when it comes to the development of um, Islamic establishments, you know, subhanAllah, we've always played a pivotal role, a uh, pivotal role with regards to leadership and, uh, you know, subhanAllah, advising. And, um, you know, this category is, is a really beautiful category that seeks to. Uh, award the masjid and the teams associated with those masajid that have worked exclusively to develop and support the spiritual, emotional and intellectual needs of women. And you know, subhanAllah, via educating women and empowering women, we are actually empowering and educating a whole generation. For it's the first, it's the lap of the mother that's the first institution in which a child lands and it's um, a great honor to uh, you know announce the the, the um, nominees of this category inshallah
Bismillah. The British Beacon Awards um, for 2021 for the best women's service is awarded to Rumi's Cave. MashaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, Rumi's Cave. Do we have a representative from Rumi's Cave online this evening? Rumi's Cave, assalamu alaikum. Do we have a representative from Rumi's Cave? Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Sister Amina Babikl, uh, welcome to the fourth annual British Beacon Mosque Awards of 2021. And many congratulations on being selected for this award. Um, we look forward to listening to your thoughts on this matter. Allahumma salli wa sayyidi Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, Jazakallah khair. I'm a bit shocked actually uh, that we won as well, like all the other candidates who have spoken previously. Um, watching the other reel of the wonderful other organizations, um, mashallah, 
um, first of all, I want to bless them for the work that they do, really supporting women and putting them in positions of power is something we, we feel really passionate about. Um, Rumi's Cave is actually run by two women, myself and my colleague, Eliza, who's um, at, actually not a Muslim, um, and she supports the needs of Muslims and uh, non-Muslims in the community. Um, and first and foremost, uh, obviously, I want to thank uh, Sheikh Babika, my father, who gave me and uh, Sister Gleiser the position to run Rumi's Cave to see that women are like Sayyidina Khadija and uh, Sayyidina Aisha were the women who were in front and has given us the confidence, um, the drive and uh, and always giving my father's always told us like be brave, stand firm with the men, don't feel like you can't um, be at the forefront and it's taken us nearly a decade to we were pretty much in the in in the background before because we were a bit too scared we wanted no one to know who we were um because we just wanted to serve from behind but actually by serving from the front you protect a lot of people um alhamdulillah so yeah we, alhamdulillah there's beautiful women at the cave mashallah a lot of people who have found their voice through poetry through art through um such uh, such are the ways of the islamic uh, uh, the ways of the past that were our beauty our architecture so we're just trying to inspire women uh, to be leaders we have great women who run the center sister nazra sister raqaya um sister noria um, there's many incredible women i can mention and we just hope that inshallah uh, the work that we do from the ladies molid from the women's only retreats from talking about women's health and womb health inshallah inspires other communities and community centers to feel inspired um, to see the importance of the sisters and like my sister Nasheen said that women are the mothers of, of the future and the ones that will uh, lead uh, first and foremost those children being born so um, we hope that our, our other masjids and brothers in Islam can see how important be women in the front is. Jazakallah khair. Jazakumullah sister Amina for those uh, very insightful deep words and do please convey our best uh, wishes to your father, Sheikh uh, um, I have traveled with your father and he is a lovely, lovely gentleman. Yes. And, yeah. um, okay. On my travels with him, I have certainly learned a lot. Please do convey um, <laughs> our well wishes to him. But at this moment, it's all about Rumi Cave and <laughs> you are here to uh, receive the the award and you've said of some very good uh, words so jazakumullah and thank you very much for attending this evening i will now pass on to for a final uh, point to sister sheikha noseen gul mashallah congratulations rumi's cave and sister amina that was absolutely inspirational and inshallah i can't wait to come and visit inshallah one day May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of our establishments across the UK that are working tirelessly to include women, um, inshallah, in, in leadership positions. And thank you so much, uh, Beacons Award uh, Faith Associates, Brother Shokat, Brother Kashif, Kari Yasim, for this um, privilege and honour. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. And um, thank you so much. Jazakumullah, Sister Noshin, and thank you for your time this evening. Uh, sorry to take you away from your family time, but we really appreciate your attendance this evening online. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.